So Google just released a new update for Gemini 2.0 Flash Image Generation and this model is able to create or even editing a picture via prompting. And by the way, this capability is used to be only available via Google AI Studio but now you can use it on the official Gemini website. And according to this blog post, apparently the new update makes this model to be better at visual quality and then it is better at creating text and the filter blocks has been reduced. So that's uh, all nice things that we have on the new update. And these are some examples that they just provided on the blog post. There is this picture of a table with a laptop and then the user asked Gemini to put this product into the table and this is the result. I think it's pretty clean. The editing is very, very good. And then there's also this Gemini code drawing. This is actually not a feature in the Gemini website. This is a a tool that was built on top of Gemini so it's not going to be available on the official Gemini website but you can use it via a Gemini code drawing sample app in AI studio and then there is another example where the user asked it to change the color of the couch and this is the result but it is not very good in some cases like for, for example this one uh, I would say the picture of a bear seems to be just placed on top of the bar and it doesn't feel realistic and actually have done some testing on this model so I, I asked it to, sorry, I asked to remove the popsicle, not the popsicle actually, the strawberry from the pink popsicle right here. This is my simple prompt and this is the result that the Jeff, that Gemini gave me. I think it's quite clean and if you look closely on the bottom right area of the picture, there is this air label indicating that the picture might have been altered by AI. So another example is this one, which is very interesting. Basically, I asked AI to make the time setting to be evening, but for some reason it is unable to do so, which is kind of weird because it should be able to do so. And then I clarify the prompt that, hey, please generate the image from that, but change the time setting to night. And now AI is able to create the picture, although not perfect because if you look closely on the pavement here, it seems to be a a sort of a feature from a time-lapse video but it is not a time-lapse video so yeah it's not perfect but it will only get better over time and if you look closely at the car composition especially this yellow car it stays yellow even though now it, we are in a different lighting setting but AI is able to maintain that color so yeah it's pretty amazing and also there is this example where I asked Gemini to change the head color from white to red and this is the result yeah i think it's very very accurate although it is not perfect so i actually downloaded the picture and the, the one picture that has been created by gemini and this is the comparison this is original this is gemini original gemini looks very close but there are some areas where you can tell that well it's not quite coherent especially on this section which is i believe some sort of ventilation or maybe pin on the head it looks quite visible on the original picture but if you look at the ai version now you don't know what is this about so yeah it's not exactly detailed and if you look at the hair it's not quite as sharp as the original picture so we're still not giving an accurate uh, version or picture but again it will only get better so another maybe another thing that you want to know is that it is not as good as ChatGPT for creating studio ghibli stuff this is the picture that asked to turn into studio ghibli and this is the result definitely a completely different picture and this is uh, my request on uh, putting the sticker into the mug but unfortunately the result is kind of disappointing this is the this is the Mac, this is the stickers, and this is the result. Completely different picture or different Mac. And it is actually something that has been demonstrated on the blog post. So there's this bear picture and it's not uh, quite realistic. It's just placing the, the bear on top of the Mac, which is not the way to go. And then lastly, uh, another thing that I would say still problematic with Gemini is the censorship. So here I asked it to remove the Ryan logo air from the plane but it is unable to do so because maybe it contains some sort of intellectual property or brand that's very typical even ChatGPT will refuse some brands from being modified using its AI image generation so yeah there are still some limitations but overall it's a nice upgrade to Gemini and again this is available for free you can navigate to gemini.google.com log into your account and then select Gemini 2.0 flash 
for the model it has to be this model 2.5 pro and flash cannot create images so only the 2.0 flash and then you can upload a picture from your computer and then you can tell AI about the item or the element that you want to modify so that's basically it that's all the things that you need to know about the gemini 2.0 flash image generation update now if you find this video to be useful then feel free to subscribe to this channel and i'll see you on my next video have a great day